Okay, let's begin. Hello, everyone. Today, I want to introduce you the anti-jamming communication algorithm. As we all know, in modern communication systems, information security has drawn more and more attention. In the actual environment, there are various types of interference making our communication system compromised. Due to this, we need to deal with the corresponding receiver to address this issue and we reduce the impact of interference. Well, this <coughs> report is based on the QPSK system. We studied a single frequency interference on the system BR performance. Clipping method gives an FFT based frequency domain. Simulation results show that this method can effecti effectively reduce the error rate with some engineering significance. And the main con content will be five parts. The first part will be the introduction and the jamming types, and the second will be the fundamental of the QPSK system. The third is the principle of the <coughs> demand and an analysis, and then the fourth part is the FFT-based anti-jamming algorithm. And the last part is the simulations. For the background and the introduction, the development of mobile communication systems caused a revelation in terms of mobility in past two decades. People could be reachable and uh, connected to the world with a simple cell phone anytime and anywhere. Various modulation schemes are developed, developed to increase the performance of the telecom communication systems. All modulation schemes have different characteristics and uh, noise immunity levels. Well, there's networks now enjoy wide, widespread com commercial <coughs> document because of their ease of use and start set up. With development of higher data rate networks, more and more mobi <coughs> mobile users access the internet wirelessly through various high-end mobile devices already available in the market at uh, affordable prices. However, since accessing wireless media is much easier, security becomes a serious concern when imply <coughs> implementing any wireless network. Here, we discuss anti-jamming <coughs> schemes used in today's communication systems particularly in QPSK system. And the jamming types. For the jamming types, in normal QPSK communication system, a receiver uses a phase locked loop to e extract a coherent carrier signal from a modulated. That is, the phase locked loop needs to be <coughs> synchronized to the the domination carrier frequency to achieve the purpose. No matter what the rule of the work in phase locked loop applications are <coughs> invertible, <coughs> invertible if affected by noise and interference. In general, the source of noise and inter <coughs> interference are many two types. That is a class together with the same in input noise and uh, harmonic interference into the loop. The other is internal noise and harmonical <coughs> distortion, distortion components generated by the loop and VCL, VCL control terminal parasitically inductive interference. In QPSK carrier extraction, uh, the major noise source is the input character, as a gaussian noise channel, 
and the presence of various sources of interference for white Gaussian noise impact analysis on the performance of the loop, a lot of research has been carried out. Although in the vicinity of the center frequency of the carrier single frequency interference is often dif difficult to detect it, but single frequency interference frequency carrier center <coughs> difference in the, it is different enough. It is likely to cause loop loss of locked loop, causing the loop <coughs> not to work. Therefore, it is necessary to examine the single carrier frequency interference in QPSK system and carry out method to anti jamming of a single frequency which <coughs> which has important important importance in practice. And now uh, is the fundamental of QPSK system. Uh, as we can see as the picture shows, the QPSK is a four level shifting cane caning Quaternary to phase shift shift came, um, which uses four different phase generated carrier to present digital information. Because each kind of carrier phase present two bytes of information, so every four <coughs> the symbol symbol can be can be a combination um, combination of two binary representation. And uh, and according to the QPSK signal modulation, QPSK the modulation can use the modulation method similar with the two PSK signal <coughs> demodulation. Demodulation uh, schematic as shown in this picture, and uh, we can say. The in phase branch and uh, quadrant branches, um, respectively, by using the coherent domination method and after the sampling, decision and parallel zero exchanger, upper and lower branch of parallel data into the zero data. And uh, for the principle of the demand and bear analysis, uh, QPSK use of carrier, f carrier phase transformation to transmit information. The amplitude and the frequency remains unchang unchanged. Time domain QPSK can be expressed by this <coughs> uh, by this equ equation. And uh, QPSK signal use bipolar, fully full, full duty rectangle plus sec <coughs> sequence and a sinusoidal so carrier multiplication characterization. PSK signal have the same energy for each transmission symbol energy, and of the second equation is a rectangle plus for t is smaller or equal zero and uh, equal t and the is larger than larger and or equal than zero. And uh, in a WGN channel. Uh, QPSK error probability can be described by the equation as follows. We can see and uh, the energy for per bit can be can be <coughs> obtained by the following two equations. And uh, for the FFT based anti jamming algorithm the picture shows the process and for interference of narrow bound in wireless channel convenient FFT frequency domain limiter algorithms can be adopted to reduce or animate 
relevant interference. Simulation analysis can be conducted in a pan. <coughs> it in QPSK communication system. Results show that the <coughs> technology can greatly reduce the interference spectral leak and the signal damage, and uh, so it improves the accuracy. <coughs> frequency and uh, re reliability of the information transmission and uh, for the simulation of MATLAB we send 200 byte and 100 simple byte information here is the uh, random bytes and use permeable data as below and we can see the data <coughs> as sh is showing in the picture and the um, picture, uh, the figure four is in next uh, in the next page is a transmitter stimulation and uh, in practical environment we add a single frequency jamming signal as figure five is also in the next page uh, we can see that generating a constellation shape distor <coughs> distortion and the same as in R, the interference signal will affect the adjustment of the data receiving in the end, causing the increase of the bit error rate. And here are the two pictures. The uh, figure 4 is the test signal, and the figure 5 is the received signal after adding single, uh, adding single tone jamming. And uh, there it is much difference. And uh, this figure, um, we can see that the single frequency interference in the fre <laughs> frequency domain signal is a huge plus. The right line is our preset threshold. Our algorithm <coughs> is that if the interference signal exceeds the right line, we put over truncated sector, thereby reducing the amplitude of the interference signal. And this picture is frequency domain after anti-jamming algorithm. Uh, there is also some difference. We can see that from this picture the spectrum of the base bound signal does not change but the magnitude of the interference signal has been effectively <coughs> surprised. And uh, uh, a figure 8 is in the last page is a time domain after proce processing. Time domain constellation can be seen plus has a significantly better compared to the previous. And this is a picture of the <laughs> stimulation before and after anti-jamming process. And uh, we will run this uh, uh, in later. And uh, in this picture is a com <coughs> comparison of the <coughs> of the arithmetic process after the original error rate of the conventional method. After that, we can see in this frequency domain FFT algorithm based on the limiter, the ammo rate has been significantly improved. improved. And now we will run the on the on this, on this system and this is the coding and uh, we just wait to run this and this is a picture just the same as the figure 9 is the <coughs> simulation and uh, compared to our oh sorry okay and uh, for the conclusion um, this report researched the anti-jamming technology in QPSK system